in this video i'm going to show you how to create a very simple countdown flyer like this in photoshop and this is coming up hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that i've been using so you might want to download them and practice them in case you do you might want to send them to instagram or twitter and i'll take a look at it for you now let's get into photoshop and let's get started all right so here in photoshop the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a canvas or a document so control and to open the new document box this is the size that we are going to use we're going to use a 4 by 5.2 inches and you can set your resolution to 300 you can as well use any size a4 a5 or a3 any size that you want once you have the size that you want you go ahead and click on create now let's start with the background first thing we want to put on here is a gradient so we go to the create new fill adjustment and we select gradient now click on your gradient bar over here and if you've already set gradient in your gradient before you're going to be able to choose one if you don't have you can use this gradient i'm going to give you the colors right over here so this is going to be the first color if you want to use the exact same thing that i'm using and this is going to be the second one so you can go ahead and click ok from here and ok from here now we want to bring this lighter green part or this lighter part to this side okay so to do that you're going to use the angle here so if you take your angle to this side you see that that light in or that lighted part is going to the side so we want it here so we're going to drag our angle to around this side 36 37 this side is going to be fine and once you have it in the part or the form that you want you go ahead and you click ok now since this is going to be a peace concept flyer we got the country in perspective which is Ghana. so we go to file place embedded and then we go to a folder which contains all the assets and a link to download it will be in the description so this is the three the independence arc i always get confused with the independence square and independence arc so once you bring it here you can open it up slightly by using the controls or the transformation controls okay so you can open it up here a little more and you double click on that now let's right click and go to rasterize layer over here you press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate it now you go to the blend mode you want to blend it with the background that we are using so you go to the blend mode left click on it and you start scrolling till you get the one that you want so you can go to this part say or this one so let's use overlay overlay is pretty simple now this is too much in the background the focus is not on the background okay so we can reduce the opacity so that it blends in seamlessly with the background so let's reduce the opacity way down let's go some more i think this is going to be fine but this part is too solid for us so let's add a layer mask to this so we add a layer mask select your brush tool and we can brush off this part very simple like that right so once we have this we can then go in and bring in the image so right on top of this one let's go and bring the image so you go to file place embedded and then you have the image of this square so this is going to be a quad program or kind of so if you are doing this for any other particular program you can rearrange or make changes to this design very seamlessly so once you bring it here you're going to position it right on top over here we can select the arc and bring it down as well slightly like that and for our car we just want this part the edge which is very solid to be a bit soft so we can right click on that and rasterize it as well and then we can add our layer mask so we choose the brush tool and we start to brush off these parts so that it blends into the background okay so you take your time to brush it very simple and nicely done like that now most of the things here is going to be pretty much the test so let's create the heading so for the heading we'll create this rounded rectangle we we'll pick the rounded rectangle and we we'll create a very simple rounded rectangle 
like that you can put it to the left side or anywhere i just decided to put it to the right side and then you can select your color and choose white for it okay now you go for your test tool yeah the first font we are using is poppins and then you can hold shift and left click in the test i've already copied my test so i'm going to paste it so that it speed up the process so once i paste my test i'm going to select the color right over here and give it a color that is way darker so that we can see it in there right so you can even come down a little bit more and you click ok and then ok from here now you need to transform your test very simple and neat like that so that you can reposition it now let's proceed to add the name or the title of the event so for that font you're going to use a font called evil empire i wonder why i was designing a peace concept flyer and i was using evil empire weird right so you left click over here i've already copied my test so i'm going to paste it now once you paste it like that you can press ctrl t and adjust the test so that it looks way better and nice. you can position it somewhere around here bring it down slightly and you are good to go now we want to add a couple of effects to this one so we are going to add gradients so let's right click on the piece concept layer go to the blending options and then you can add gradient to it so we select our gradient tool and we go to the gradient box over here and then we can select this gradient there is the gradient that i use in case you want to use the same thing these are the colors the first one is here and the second one is also here now you can go ahead and click ok and then ok from here now you realize that the gradient is set to radial we don't want it like that so we are going to change the style from radial to linear we don't like the positioning of this one too so let's start rotating the angle so we want to get it to somewhere around zero okay so that it will be linear from linear in the horizontal vertices okay so once you get what you want you can as well make it say if you bring it al along this line it can just rotate anyhow you want it you get it so let's make it zero and then we can go ahead and click ok now this same font we are going to copy that so ctrl j to do that and we are going to edit this to theme okay so we write our theme over there we press ctrl t to transform it and then you can bring it somewhere around here so the next test will be the theme itself so let's select this let's go back to poppings and use poppings semi bold okay and i've already copied the test as well so i'm going to paste it right over here so this was already in medium so we can position it somewhere around here press ctrl t and then we can transform it a bit nicely like that and push it up like that that means that we need to make this one a little bit smaller so that it can adjust okay and reposition it like this i just realized that this one too has changed let's go back to poppings we don't want to use we don't want to be using too much evil in this one so popping semi bold now with the same poppings over here we are going to duplicate it drag it down and these are going to be the choirs that we've or that you've invited them to grace this occasion so we are going to select that and change the test to the choir they are many so i've already listed them so i'll copy and paste okay so copy and paste right over there now this is popping semi bold but you realize that it is too big over here so let's transform it and let's close it up from the horizontal vertices okay so we can close them up like that and we can just push them up here somewhere around here it's still too big so somewhere around here it's fine and let's bring it down so that it will tear itself i mean there will be space in between right <laughs> so you can position them right over here when you are done and we can go for the rectangle to create a very simple rectangle over here we will double click on the gradient layer and choose white so we'll select our test you can right click anywhere outside of the rectangle and put over the ministry so let's select this test right over here make a duplicate and then we can edit that to ministry all right so we are going to select all of that choose our color palette and choose 
a darker color so that it is coming into this one okay so you can click ok and let's make this semi bold as well now you press ctrl t right click and flip it counterclockwise go to the left side one bit okay and then you can draw or drag it it's out of the rectangle but you realize that this is underneath of the rectangle when you look at the layer arrangement over here so what you need to do is you're going to left click and hold and drag it on top of the rectangle so that it can show right over there pretty simple now let's go back to full screen now the next thing is going to be the date time and event so today is 20th october that is the day that i'm recording this video so we go for our test tool we are still using poppins okay so you left click i've already copied the date so i'll paste it right over here you can select all of it and give it a brighter color so that it will give you the chance to work on it i don't know why this is happening but sometimes it looks like when you paste test it automatically or it's suddenly kind of change size i don't know if you have an idea why this happens you might probably want to let me know okay now let's add effect onto this one so you see the effect we added on this piece concept yes we are going to add the same thing to this one so you right click on it and then you go to copy layer style you go on to the sunday which is the date over here you right click and then you can paste the layer style pretty simple right now let's make a duplicate of this date so Control j and then we will drag it to the right side over here double click on it and we will paste the location okay we we'll do same Control j and drag it to the left side here double click and paste the time now you can select these three by holding shift and selecting the last one and then you go to layer you go to distribute and you say distribute them horizontally so it is going to position them in the same direction you can press ctrl j to group this as well press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered so these are all centered okay now it is time to add the icons to it so we open the group all the icons are in the folder so we go to our folder place embedded and this is going to be the date icon so you transform it neatly just like that you just take your time okay and then you can bring it somewhere around here make sure that it is aligned you can use the guidelines or the grid lines okay and to copy this same effect onto this this time you don't need to copy and paste you just need to hold alt drag the fx on this one onto the data icon and voila you have your effect copied on it so we are going to do the same thing for the location so file place embedded and location and now the same thing we can drag this effects onto the location and we are good and we do the last one for the time and we are done with the time the date and the venue as well so underneath here we're going to put a scripture over there so we select our test tool and we are still at poppins okay so we are going to paste the test right over here so you press ctrl t and then you can transform it and you press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered i think it's too it's still too big so let's close it up from the horizontal vertices like that and i think this scripture and this whole message is very powerful so as election is approaching let us put things in order let us campaign peacefully let us send our messages out peacefully let us vote peacefully because this is the only land that god has given to us for most of us we don't even have passports that we can travel outside of just in case anything should happen so let's be very mindful of the way we send our messages and our campaigns and our voting let's just be peaceful so that we will continue to enjoy the peace that we have in this country all right so once we're done with this i think we can bring this down a little bit so we can select this together with the rectangle and the ministry and group that and we can push it down slightly and that means that the theme here too we can bring it down slightly okay and that ultimately means that we can open our piece concepts slightly as well and just to make things align we are just going to close this up so that it is kind of in line with the 
peace concerts and the theme okay so that we have this space for the number of days that is left for the program to start so right on top of all these we are going to select our test and we are going to put any number so let's say it's remaining with eight days okay so you put eight over there and we can choose semi bold or bold because the number is very important as well this is a countdown flyer this is not like the main flyer okay so you can open it up i think this is the the bold the semi bold is too bold <laughs> so let's choose medium right over here medium is fine okay so we close it up and underneath of this we are going to put a rectangle there so eight kind of telling the number of these left right so we can put this over here you double click on the layer thumbnail and then you can change the color to white and inside of this we are going to put days more so days more and we will select all of that and choose a color dark green so that it can show and for this we can use either semi bold or even bold okay so it indicates eight days more you press ctrl t and you can open it up to fill the rectangle and you can leave it once you are satisfied let's group these two so that we can take our time to position it like that now let's also decrease our eight over here and we close this group as well and position it somewhere around here now for this i would always entreat that you make it center aligned so that any test that you put in there will automatically just fit right so if you have it say center aligned and it's eight days more once you start changing it it can be seven six five four three oh there is here two and then one and once it gets to one day you can just take off the s over here so that it will be one day more but in this case we're just going to maintain like eight so eight days more and that is pretty much it this is how you create a very simple countdown flyer for choir events youth events or any event that would require this type of design mind you also you can easily change this picture right over here for instance if you want to change it just turn off this one and you can bring in any other image that you have so yeah that'll be it for this video i hope you gained value out of this if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very that's me peaceful it will be so very much appreciated thank you so much and i hope this flag communicates a lot of message for you especially if you're a Ghanaian or anywhere that you're watching from and you're approaching elections or election year let's live in peace let's vote in peace let's convey our messages in peace and of course the god of peace and love we all will be with us thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye